Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Anik bin Muhammad Nazri and I'm from AP229 Class B. Currently, I'm pursuing studies in UITM Shah Alam degree in building surveyor. Just imagine that one day, the sake of the humanity depends on oxygen tank to breathe. Would you rather carry pounds of oxygen tank on your back and use the surgical mask rather than just breathe? breathe normally like this like now so today i would like to deeply dive into this important topics that is air pollution air pollution is contaminant of the indoor and all outdoor environment by any chemical physical or biologic biological agent that modifies the natural characteristic of the atmosphere household combustion device motor vehicle industrial facilities and forest fire are common source of air pollution Breathing clean air can lessen the possibility of disease from stroke, heart disease, lung cancer, as well as chronic, chronic and acute respiration illness such as asthma. Lower levels of air pollution are better for heart, heart and respiration health both long and short term. The main cause of air pollution in Malaysia, according to IQ Air article, there are a large number of different chemical compounds and particulate matter, and other high possibility is from vehicle itself. According to the index air quality stats during this October 2022, I've done some research and collect da data on 20 October 2022 air quality index and 30th October, as you can see, as you can see, the highest in that in, is in Petaling Jaya, Selangor, with 86, and the lowest is in Bongawan Sabah, with 24 points. From these stats, we can see that the highest point is in the city and industrial area, where the lowest point is in the greenery environment and least polluted air is in Sabah. I've done some research regarding from the my topics and few found and found few articles and stats about air pollution index in Malaysia, based on Melimail.com on. 30th October 2022, environment that cracks down on Pasir Gudang metal plating factory for air pollution with its multiple source of pollution. There will be a large number of diff different chemicals, compounds and particulate matters making up the pollution collective that finds itself in the Malaysia air. There's a lot of prevention that we responsible to take some action to prevent this unhealthy environment, such as use using public transport, practice 3R that stands for reuse, reduce and recycle all your belongings. Use fan instead of air conditioner because AC have conditioner units are bad for environment in parts. The hydrofluorons carbon HFC and chlorofluorocarbon CFCs emit pollutant that puts hole in the ozone. AC system require enormous amount of energy to operate and fossil fuels burn the electricity contributed to ozone de depletion. Say no to plastic bag. Instead, you bring your own eco bag or paper bag. Use filter for your house chimney to filter the dust and debris. So, that's all from me. I hope you can clear that air pollution is one of the big concerns and problems towards our life. We as a human, we responsible and take an intelligent and best action for preventing this type of unhealthy environment. Hope we meet again soon. Thank you. Bye and Assalamualaikum.